43 to go on the Jones penalty. Sent it back to the blue line to Harper. Wrist shot just in and it's tipped in in front. Aiden McDonald opens a scoring as he scores on a redirect on the point shot from the right wing. He goes over the blocker of Robson and that vaunted power play of Cowichan Valley capitalizes. 17 32 to go, it's 1-0 Caps. Well, we see early how Couch Valley likes to run their power play, and that's by getting pucks to the point and then putting those pucks on net with red jerseys going to the front. And McDonald just came out of the corner after making a pass up to the point man, and the puck came from the high point, and he touched it on the way in. No real chance for Robson there, and no V able to block that shot. So watch out for that power play. Or, uh, goal, and then, shot. like you said, Fraser picked up a bit of a hold by Scapsy. Both officials decided not. Scores off the draw in front, tipped in by Owen Sillinger. And we're tied right away. Kenny Johnson with the blast, Owen Sillinger with a great redirect. And it's 1-1 as he tipped that over the blocker bar down and in, and bang, bang, it's 1-1 in the blink of an eye with 4.08 gone in this first period. Fraser, you didn't even get a chance to make the call there. My <laughs> apologies, still breaking down the play by Leahy, but an excellent shot there by Johnson. Cylinder in the right spot, tips that one almost on top of the goaltender, straight up into the top of the net. Ryden, he'll send it around to the right wing and miss the stick of Crookshank, but now he finds it against Doman, walks to the high slot, takes the shot, scores! <laughs> Grant Crookshanks not going to miss from there. He picks the corner from the top of the slot on the blocker's side. Goals in three straight games now for Crookshank. It's 2-1 Vs with 7.53 to go. Grant Crookshank with his 20th of the year. Just his bread and butter in that high slot with just such a good snapshot. The left-handed shooter, but watch the replay here. Fraser is number 12 in white. Amante skates right through the slot, right as that shot comes. Blinds the goaltender in McCashew, giving him no chance here to stop the puck. So a big play away from the play for Amante as he created the screen for Kirkshank. His legs for Wilson, try to play it in front. Now look out, a shot, stop, rebound, Robson sitting on top of the puck, hangs onto it with Pachapinski in Senate trying to bang it home right on the doorstep in front. Senate came out of the corner, had a couple of good looks. Robson laid his pads down and then sat on top of the puck as Pachapinski was whacking at it. In tight again, and Robson showing some great awareness to hang on to the puck and not. Now at center ice, Whistling brings it back in with 20 seconds left. On the right wall, applies the brakes. Back up top, Ripplinger playing the point here across the Leahy left side. They'll trade positions, Leahy gives it off to Ripplinger, back to Leahy, one-timer, up high, rebound in front, tipped on, they score, no! Now they score! Bounced across the goal line, and then it's finally batted in by Rissling on the glove side on a ping pong play. And it's 3 1, 133 into the second period. I'm not sure if the first one didn't go in or not, but the second attempt definitely in, and the V's lead it by two. Don't look now, but another power play goal for the Penticton V's. That's two in two games, or a goal in two games straight power on the power tonight. play. After scoring on their opening power play, now back on right wing, Cylinder in, walking in, waiting, waiting, shooting, scores! <laughs> Owen Cylinder outweights everyone down low on a two on one after a bad line change by Kalich and Valley. He has his second of the game, just 108 into this third period, and it's now 4 1 Penticton. Capitals defenseman tried to chip the puck past Sillinger. Two tonight. At center, he has the puck from Meek. Right wing side for Amante. Comes back in with some pace. Takes it back around the net. Wrap around Tribe. In front, they score. Crookshank on the rebound. He's got two. The V's lead at 5 1. Three minutes in. Ty Amante with all the speed going around the net. Fed it back in front. Crookshank rifles it home in front for his second of the game and 21st of the year to match the sweater number. V's lead it five to one. The Capitals just tomorrow afternoon in Surrey. Off the draw, one last point shot, blocked down in front, and that's it. V's take it five one over the Couch and Valley Capitals. They've won three in a row and they've won both games this week. 
as they come in and congratulate Matt Robson on his 21st win. Solid effort for the Bees here after early hiccup. They come back and score five unanswered en route to win number 26. Final score, Bees five, Couch and Valley one.